The now critically acclaimed footprint of the Arduino Uno has become a near gold standard in the maker and professional development industries. But given the smaller nature of most simple IoT applications, where power and hardware size are always a concern, Arduino created the Maker Footprint, which still packs 28 pins into less than half of the total board area. For the MKR1000, Arduino took the liberty of cutting out the need for a large IoT device and designed in the wonderful AT-SAMW25 SoC to allow for out-of-the-box connectivity. With only four less IOs than the Uno, the MKR still packs loads of opportunity for development and prototyping at only 40% of the Uno's footprint. The MKR1000 series is designed for those with no experience in networking for IoT applications, which makes it easy to use for anyone wanting to prototype fast. Lastly, the SoC integrates ECC508 crypto authentication to keep your IoT nodes safe and secure. The advent of Sigfox networks and their low-power data sharing capabilities has led to a boom in IoT devices intuitively utilizing the new technology, so naturally, Arduino followed suit. The MKR Fox 1200 is the same form factor as other Maker products, however, it enables out-of-the-box connectivity to a Sigfox network. The product even comes with a free two-year subscription to Sigfox, with up to 140 messages a day, as well as free access to the Spotit geolocator tool for applications such as asset tracking. Given the limited global infrastructure implementation of Sigfox, the current operability of the Fox 1200 only services Europe for the time being. However, the limited power consumption capabilities of this board make it extremely ideal for battery-powered applications especially since it can be used with AA or AAA batteries using the proper hardware. The MKR WAN 1300 is designed to help developers prototype with LoRa WAN connectivity. The MCU on board is, again, the SAMD21. This MKR board utilizes the MCWX1 ZZ ABZ LoRa module for connectivity. The connectivity can be implemented using a simple GSM antenna, however, be sure to double check that the antenna operates at 433, 868, or 915 MHz given the frequency bands of LoRa. Again, since LoRa is a low power solution, the MKR WAN 1300 is ideal for battery powered IoT designs if LoRa WAN is available in your geolocation. The long awaited small Arduino with built in GSM has finally arrived and it's in the MKR form factor, much to our liking. The MKR GSM 1400 follows the standard suit of other IoT-geared Arduino Maker boards, and it has the same MCU, pinout, input power, and so on. Power consumption is not nearly as conservative as it is with the 1200 or 1300. However, having 2G capabilities has its given benefits. This does, however, mean that you need to power the GSM 1400 with at least 1500 milliamp hours or a higher LiPo battery. The new emerging footprint of the Arduino MKR series may soon replace its famous older brother. The extensive adaptability of the IoT feature sets that the growing Maker family provides gives users and designers an exciting and scalable product in the easy-to-use ecosystem that we already know and love. 